Well, hard, hard fought game. Two very good basketball teams. And, and uh, you know, I thought we made a great run there in the middle of the first half, uh, most of it in transition. And then, uh, you know, Jacob Parker and then uh, Deshaun and then Nico, I believe, hit back to back threes, which kind of gave us a little cushion at that point. But uh, uh, I thought we, we did a great job of withstanding their run. Uh, they made a couple of them in the second half, and, and then we were very, very good at uh, uh, of being patient, and then we did what you had to do in a big game, and that step to the free throw line, make your free throws, and, and uh, uh, a little disappointed in our rebounding late, uh, but uh, you know, again, we uh, we were able to get stops when we needed to. Uh, give credit to Sam Houston. You know, they can, they they can make it interesting there at the end, but a lot of your points come in second chance. It's about Parker's ability to pull down boards to keep you guys going. Well, and again, that's what you expect of them. They're very well coached. They had nice. You know, they ran a couple of nice sets, and, and then we didn't uh, uh, we didn't limit them to one shot. And uh, we had a, you know they had a three point play, so we we've got some things we got to clean up at the end of a game. But uh, again, uh, Sam never quit, and give them a lot of credit for that. Don't you know? Uh, I mean, you're up three games with five to go now. So as far as the title talk goes, that was a huge for you. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I again, and Kevin, you know me, I'm pretty much one game at a time, but, uh, uh, you know, I guess we'll total them up at the end of the year. And, I, you know, I think we can, we can uh, uh, you know, we've got, we've got a very hard one in our next one. Northwestern State's a very, very talented team, and, you know, we've still got Oral Roberts left, who, in my opinion, has probably the best offensive talent in, in, in the league and, and Glover. So there's, there's nothing easy. We go on the road to New Orleans and, Southeastern and, and New Orleans has been uh, a monster at home. So uh, we got hard games left. And I think it's about us getting better as we head into the conference tournament. And, and we obviously still have some things we need to work on. Coach, what about some of those 50-50 balls? How, how important was that? It was our whole game plan. It's our whole game plan. Uh, we had 17 of them the other night at Lamar. 15 of them uh, they got. And uh, when you get two very good basketball teams together, uh, you're going to have a grind. It's not going to be a, a, a real pretty game. And the game's going to come down to rebounding. The game's going to come down to 50-50 balls. And, and uh, you know, we, we're on the road. We had, to, we had to win that battle tonight or we weren't going to win the game. And then with the win tonight, obviously, you retake over the national road winning streak and overall with 12 overall. What do these streaks mean to your players? So we continue to just keep reclaiming and re-going on with this? Well, like I said, I, it's something they can have some pride in. And I think it's not just the players. It's, it's, the, it's the community. It's East Texas. It's uh, the Southland Conference. I, I think we've got, uh, uh, you know, personally as, as, as a coach, I'm extremely proud of the road, uh, the road streak. Uh, you know, you don't just go on the road and win. I, what is it, 11, 12? I don't even know what the streak We're is. 12 straight. Now. 12, 12 straight, overall. 12 straight. I mean, you just don't do that uh, with, without a mentally tough locker room and a locker room with great chemistry. And, and uh, that's the one that I think our team should, should be and will be defined by.